2 Corinthians chapter 2 verses 14 through 17. Now thanks be unto God which always causes us to trample in Christ and maketh manifest the Savior of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ in them that are saved and in them that perish. To the one we are the savor of death unto death and to the other the savor of life unto life. And who is sufficient for these things? For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God. In the sight of God speak we in Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 3 verses 1 through 3. Do we begin again to commend ourselves, or need we, as some others' epistles of commendation to you, or letters of commendation from you? Ye are our epistle written in our hearts, known and read of all men, for as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of Christ ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the Spirit of the living God, not in tables of stone, but in fleshly tables of the heart. Matthew chapter 23, verses 23 through 28. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the law, judgment, mercy, and faith. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Ye blind guides, which strain at a gnat and swallow a camel. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For ye make clean the outside of the cup and of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. Thou blind Pharisee, cleanse first that which is within the cup and platter that the outside of them may be clean also. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are like unto white sepulchres, which indeed appear beautiful outward, but are within full of dead men's bones and of all uncleanliness. Even so, ye also outwardly appear righteous unto men, but within ye are full of hypocrisy and iniquity. Amen.